the Dutch raid for a Greek god. Let's get into this. <laughs> Listen, it's no secret amongst many West Ham fans that we are in the market this summer for a striker. One or two, possibly. But we definitely need someone because, obviously, Antonio, who is doing a good job, a grand job as of late, is coming to the end of his career. We don't know what's happening with him past this season. He is 34 years old and he is currently holding the line for West Ham. We've not got the best of records with strikers. We absolutely do not. <clears throat> but there's no ifs or buts or maybes. We know we're going to be in the market looking for a striker. Now, one of those strikers, supposedly, that West Ham are keen on bringing in is this Greek striker here, Vangelis Pavlidis. Pavli Pavlidis. Pavlidis. Um, and apparently West Ham are looking to make a summer move for the Greek striker. Now, the Greek striker currently plays for AZ Alkmaar. So West Ham have seen him in the flesh. Now he's 25 years old and he's been closely monitored by West Ham, but also a host of European clubs. Now why? Why would you say that people are looking at him for his age? Well, I'll tell you why. 131 games for AZ Alkmaar, 75 goals and 25 assists. It's not just that, though. He stands at six foot one, and he is your bullish type centre forward. He genuinely does play quite similar to the Antonio style striker. He drops in deep, he collects the ball, he holds up play, and he can bring in other midfielders in and around close to him. And when watching him in particular earlier this season, scoring a hat trick against Herevin to win. 3-0, you can see how dominant he is going to be if he is and currently does play in his current team um, with him. Now, according to some sources, they're saying that he is looking and planning for a move away from Alkmaar in the summer. And because his contract is up next year, then clubs can negotiate probably a reasonable deal coming from the Dutch League. Now, we know Tim Steiden looks at it. We've done the negotiations already in the Dutch League. We've done the work with Ajax. Um, but this player does definitely offer us something that's quite interesting. The problem we've got is that other clubs are keen in on the player, including clubs from the Bundesliga. Um, and because his valuation is potentially sitting quite low, because his contract is valid until the end, uh, the summer of 2025, this could end up being a bidding war. Now, he, the player himself, has 24 of those goals I mentioned and two assists in the Dutch League this season, of which three of his other goals came in the Conference League. So he is a very, very talented player. Now, but we could have a secret weapon in trying to bring him to the London Stadium, and that is none other than Konstantinos Mavropanos, the Greek international's teammate. And what I like about this player, like I said, he's big, he's powerful, he's quick, he's versatile, and he can play as a striker, second striker, on the, both the right or the left-hand sides. And I genuinely think he is someone that would really tickle our fancy for the right price at the right age, Greek international as well. Represented Greece for 36 appearances at international level, scoring six goals. Wherever he's been, he has scored goals. Um, and he definitely, definitely is an intriguing player. A player that, you know, I'm quite intrigued about finding out a little bit more. So we will talk about him in the coming days. But it's a short and sweet one for you this morning. A player to keep an eye out for him is Vangelis Pabildas. Vangelis. Vildes, I will get his name, especially if we do sign him. Now, he was born in Thessalonica, but he left for Germany back in 2015 and joined Bosham, and he racked up a handful of appearances during his time there. Instead, he enjoyed loan spells at Borussia Dortmund's reserves 
and Willingham um, in Holland. Signing for Willingham in 2019 on a permanent deal. He racked up 11 goals and three assists in 25 Dutch appearances before following that up with 12 and 5 in 34. And it was at that point, it was enough for Alkmaar to sign him on a four-year contract at the time for 2.5 million euros. But he continued to make steady progress in Holland with 16 goals and five assists in total. And then he chipped in with 25 goals, seven across across, across all competitions. Uh, and then the 22-23 season, that would see him add 12 more goals and eight assists. 22 goals and 14 assists in all competitions. Of course, facing West Ham in the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League and West Ham knocking them out there and he's picked up from where he left last season like I said scoring the amount of goals that he has but someone I am intrigued about is this player because we're doing our scouting missions and if this is a player we are keen interest in then I'm all for it but as we all know it's all hearsay there's no ifs or buts we don't know this truth we don't know what's actually happening we'll have to keep an eye on this one but here's one for you to have a look at strong powerful and um, bit bullish up front Reminds me of a kind of Antonio-esque type player. Um, but let me know your thoughts on what I have mentioned to you today. Join us later on for the West Ham Daily. Of course, we have the Hammers headline. Go check out the player ratings from Budgie and Kieran on the old school Hammers last night to get easy. And come on, you lads. <laughs> 